Nothing for me to pull back to. Suggest you hold that back up for now. We need to turn that around, Sergeant. Serena, what's our status? It's rare that several years into a system's life that you find a game changer. Something that forever changes how you look at a gaming series or genre. Sure, when a system launches, everything's amazing because it's brand new. But to do something, especially in an established series, that changes how you look at things, that's something special. Hey everyone, this is Ray at Classic Game Room, and today we're going to be looking at Halo Wars from Ensemble Studios and Microsoft. We're pinned down over here. I'm going. I'm on it. Let's get it. Now I'm sure everyone is already up in arms with me saying this is a game changer, but give me a chance to explain, I'm sure I'll win a few of you over. The reason why Halo Wars is a game changer is because it is the first time in the history of gaming that an RTS, a real-time strategy game, has been done well on a console, on a home console. Sure, you've had Command and Conquer and a lot of other RTS games set up on home consoles before, but they've never translated well. The controls were too complicated for a handful of buttons and a joystick to handle for what was meant for a keyboard and mouse. Halo Wars, though, got it right by doing something most hardcore RTS fans would say is blasphemy. Ensemble Studios, the guys who gave us such great RTSs as the Age of Empires series, simplified things. One button unit selection, one resource to collect and manage, limited outpost selection, and all these things equaled easily the smoothest RTS experience you'll ever find on a console. Add in then a new chapter to the Halo canon, specifically 20 years before Master Chief, and you have the potential for great things, my friends. Our primary mission here is to reach that structure. Destroying that base is a secondary objective. Halo Wars is a struggle for humanity to take back a planet that was once theirs called Harvest from Covenant Control. The Covenant wants it back because they believe there is an artifact hidden there that is critical to their cause. The humans simply want it back. With that, the game starts where you are Sergeant Forge, played again by Nolan North, and in your Warthog have to round up some soldiers and take back Alpha Base as you begin your campaign to wipe out the Covenant from Harvest. After taking back Alpha Base, we are also introduced to our main adversary for the game, the Arbiter. The Arbiter is smarter than your average Covenant and plays things more like a James Bond villain than your typical smash and grab Covenant general. Only fitting that the main adversary in a strategy game would be, well, a strategist. And as the game progresses through all 15 story based missions, You'll have to become quite the strategist yourself if you hope to survive. Early on, the strength and numbers model may work, but as the game progresses and there are stipulations set out for certain objectives or a limited number of soldiers, your mind will definitely be put to the test. Another amazing thing about this game is how beautiful it looks, especially for an RTS. Typically, RTS graphics are subpar, since there is such little detail needed in unit design and so much space needed for larger maps. And the cutscenes look amazing, really, really stressing the detail and time and effort that was put into this game. The voice acting is also stellar and really hammers home the struggle between the Covenant and the humans, reminding you that this is still a Halo title. And since this is a Halo title, it wouldn't be the same if there weren't skulls. Each level has a skull that can help or hinder your progress in the game depending on how much of a challenge you're looking for. There are also added to this game, black boxes, that unlock key events in the Halo timeline feature that adds a little extra incentive to go exploring those dark spots on each and every map, and this helps with the replay value tremendously. The only point where the Halo Wars game might drag a little is on the multiplayer. There really isn't anything special here that you don't get in the story mode except for you're playing an RTS with people instead of against a computer. Overall though, Halo Wars is a special game, and if you are a fan of either RTSs or the Halo series, you should do yourself a favor and pick this up. On target. Nice work. Let's get down there and see what the Covenant found so damn interesting. 